us. We give all we have to you, Father, to you, Lord Jesus, to you, Holy Spirit, have mercy. Okay, let's see this guy here. Yeah. You there, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So, okay. So, you're King James only. Only is? Is that it? Is that what you yeah, Yes, I am. So, what do you believe about the Godhead? The Godhead? I believe the Trinity. I mean, that's not a problem there. Take it easy, buddy. Don't get too excited. No, that's fine. It's fine. Take it easy. Breathe a little more. Okay, so you believe in Trinity. And so, what do you believe about salvation and justification and glorification let's see because i don't know i didn't watch your videos because i don't care to watch what you have to say so well, that's, that's fine so what is it what so you try to call me out because you think you know the bible i'm an heretic so go ahead well okay so i your your, your things have been uh appeared to my news feed so i saw some of it mm -hmm. now obviously you know i'm not catholic uh i'm an independent fundamental baptist i used to be okay you are okay uh in regards to salvation i believe in faith alone john 3 16 John 3, 16 doesn't use the word faith alone. Well, but faith means belief. So yeah, I think we have... Faith alone. Catch yourself. Speak slowly. Don't be nervous. You said faith no, alone. No, I'm not nervous. Yeah. So well, open up John 3, 16 and show me the word faith alone. Well, whosoever believes in them should not perish, but everlasting life. Okay, that's not what I asked you. So you're wasting my time. I, I thought you're a little more intelligent. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. You said faith alone. Yes. Where does it say faith alone? Because I'm going to ask you to define what believing is according to John. Because if you go now, John 14, 23, 24, you'll see what believing is if you're not a one verse Charlie and a Bible pervert as you are. Go to John 14, 23 to 24. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll humor you. Yeah, I'll go there. Yeah, yeah. Humor me because I'll be laughing at your expense. Keep humoring me. Okay, I'm there. Okay. Read for me what it is to be believing in the Son. On, sorry, on which verse? 14, which John 14, verse? 14, 23 and 24. 23 and 24. He that hated me, hated my father also. No, John 14, not 15. So oh, you're sorry, sorry. slow. You don't listen too good. Be patient. Listen. I know you're nervous. Be patient. John 14, 23 to 24. If you're not nervous, you would heard. I didn't say John 15, 23 to 24. Okay. If, if a man loved me, he will keep my words. And my father which uh, and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our boat with him he that love me not keep not my sayings and the word which i which which you hear is not mine but the father's which send me so if you don't keep his word do you love him no so if you don't love him will you be saved or cursed according to first corinthians 16 22. well if you well he, well if you don't you don't have to love him to go to heaven no yes you do first corinthians 16 22 you didn't hear me see i'm giving you bible you're giving me your mouth First Corinthians 16, 22 says, he who does not love the Lord, let him be accursed. Sure. So if you don't love him, are you accursed, condemned, or saved? First Corinthians 16, 22. Open up your King James Bible. Yeah, I, I, I got my King James right there. Loving, he, 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 yeah, he that love me, keep his commandments. If you don't love, keep his commandments. Read First Corinthians 16, 22. See, you ran again. Yeah, I know, I know which verse he's talking about. I know that first. Come on. Read it for me. Okay, I'll humor you again, okay? Read it for me. If if any man loves not the Lord Jesus, let him be. Read it louder so we can hear you. Okay, okay. Is something with my with the audio. Or? No, it's okay. No, speak louder because when you go down, we can't hear you. Okay, so read First Corinthians sixteen twenty. If any man loves not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema, maranatha. Okay, anathema. What does anathema mean? Curse. And so, if God anathematizes you, what happens to you? You curse. What does curse mean, dude? Curse could be punishment. Could be, no, uh, there's only one meaning because the same word anathema is used in Galatians 1, 8 to 9, that if we are an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one you receive, let him be anathema. So what happens if you preach another gospel? What does anathema mean? Yeah, you're cursed. You're, you're not saved. Okay, thank you. So if Jesus says, if you don't keep my word, you don't love me. And Paul says, if you don't love him, you're cursed. You're not saved. Thank you. Okay, so you have to love him to Before go to heaven. Before you move on. Before you move on. You said faith alone. So you're saying faith without works? Yeah, faith without works, yeah. Okay, because you don't know your King James Bible, did you know you said faith is believing, right? Yeah. And Jesus says believing is a work. No, believing means trust. John Ephesians 6, 27, 1. 29. I'm giving you Bible, you're giving me your mouth. John 6, 27 to 29. Sorry, which, 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 which one again? John 6, 27, 29. There he says, believing is the work that God requires of you. So what are you talking about? No, this is the work of God that you believe John on. John 6, 27, 29. They ask, what is the work that we must do 
to obtain this food. He goes, believe. the work that God requires of you is to believe in the Son of Man. Okay, so it's, it's the work. Believe. Yeah, read it for me. I, I, I just I just did. Jesus okay, answered so and said, Why did you me. lie to everyone and say that belief is not a work? Jesus says it is. Belief means trust. Ephesians chapter 1. I didn't ask you to define belief. I said, Why did you lie when you said that belief is not a work when Jesus said it is? Well, and I'm answering your question. But belief is not a work because it means trust. He just said it is. Read, it, read the verses out loud from your King James Bible. No, it says this is the work of God that you believe. Read the work 27, of God. 29, Bible butcherer. You're like your father, the devil. I'm telling you, read 27, 29. Yeah, labor not for the meat which perish, but slowly, for the meat. Slowly, perish. labor not. That's working. When you labor, you work. Labor not. Don't work for. Go ahead. Yeah, labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endure unto life ever and will everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father seal. Then said they unto him, What shall we do? That we may work the works of God. What shall we do to do the works of God? Don't tap dance. So and he's that not they're asking. What are the works that God requires of us to obtain this food? And what okay, is and that's, and that's belief? So belief is a work now, right? You want if you want to play that game, then I guess in Acts 16. No, 31, I'm not playing game. I'm giving you Bible. You're giving me your mouth. Do you agree with Jesus? Belief is a work? No, I don't. Oh, so you guys, he just said he doesn't agree with Jesus. You no, son no. of the devil. The work, the work of God work. is Acts 16 through 31. What must I do to be saved? And they said, yes. believe on the Lord Jesus. Oh, so doing saved. again is believing again, which means it's a work again. Thank you. Believe, it means trust. If you want, if you want to do Did Jesus but, say in answer to their question that the work of God that you must do is believing? Yes sure. or okay, no? Be, okay, believe. Yeah. Okay, so do you agree with Jesus that believing according to Jesus, what you read in your King James Bible, yeah. Is a work. It's the work of God. What do you mean work of God? It's the work God requires. Do you read context? 20, okay, 20? and so it's believing. Okay, okay so, so here's the question then. Work, right? okay, so, okay, so let me... I'll no, answer, let me, ask me. Do you, I still want to get you to see if you agree with your King James Bible. I think I can answer your question. When, yeah, when, you when can I ask me, and I'll bury you in a minute. But do you agree with your King James Bible? The work of God in the context means the work that God requires of you. Yes it's or no? It's a belief. Okay, sure. It's a belief, yeah. Okay, so you work. So now you went back from contradicting yourself because now you admit there is a work you do and it's believing. Okay, so what's your question to me? Okay, so my question is that when you when, when you say believing on Christ, what, what, is, what is belief to you? Because according to scripture, believing in Christ is something ongoing, continuous. It's not a once for all prayer that you deceive people into <clears throat> performing because you do the sinner's road to salvation. So okay, so so you believe According that salvation Jesus, is a process. What does believing mean? So you believe that salvation is a process. It's not one time thing only. No, I did, it's not what I believe. It's what Jesus said. You have to be believing. You have to be seeing. You have to be coming. Because if you knew your King James Bible and the received text, underlying it, those are present tense <clears throat> participles, meaning believing, seeing, coming, looking. It's ongoing. Well, because in Ephesians chapter one, verse thirteen, you can says, quote Ephesians one all you want, buddy. Yeah. You didn't answer my question. According to John, which you misquoted, those passages are talking about those who are believing, looking, seeing, and coming. It's an ongoing believing, coming, and looking. It's not a once and for all prayer that you guys teach, so that people know why your gospel is from the pit of hell. Because I used to be an independent of the Baptist. I want you to tell everyone, because I know I used to be one of you. You believe that if someone says the sinner's prayer, he's saved. That's it, right? Sure. Yeah, Romans well, 10, 15. Don't run. Bart Ehrman used to be a Christian who said the sinner's prayer. He's now an agnostic atheist. And if he dies as an agnostic atheist, is he still going to heaven? No, he's going to hell. But no, brother. No, 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 no. He said the sinner's prayer. Okay, maybe he and you believe in eternal security, right? So why is yeah, he going to hell? Sure, sure. Why is he going to hell? Well, first, oh, first of all, I don't know what the guy that you talk about. And it second, doesn't matter. He was a born again Christian. Went to Moody Bible Institute. He studied the Greek New Testament. He's a professor of the Greek New Testament. He's now an atheist agnostic. So according to you, he said that prayer, sinner's prayer, gave his life to Christ, got baptized, all of that. Yeah. According to you, you believe in eternal security. Once a person says that prayer. He can't be lost, right? Right, he cannot be lost. But the thing is, what oh. gospel do you believe? 
if, if, you, if you believe in works salvation. believe your gospel, which is faith alone, because he was taught in Moody Bible Institute, and they believe in faith alone. So don't now change it to me. So he said the sinner's prayer. He believed your false gospel. Yeah. Is he going to heaven? If he believed the gospel that I believe, okay, then he will be saved, right? but he's but he's not because according to you, you believe you, you claim to be faith alone. Forget me, I'm talking about your heresy. I want people to see why you're a son of Satan, you're a heretic. So is he going to heaven? Well, no, because he's in he's in an upstate. Because again, but I don't know what gospel believes in. Salvation, buddy, according I, to you. I don't know what gospel he believes in. You can tell I me. I just believes. told you your gospel. Let's try it a third time. Your well, gospel. How, how, how do you believe my gospel? Okay, let's I don't know put this it guy. aside. Let's let me use one of your cult members. According to you, if someone you led to Christ. You went knocking on the door and sure. you did the sinner's road to salvation. Yeah. He said the sinner's prayer, but then he stopped going to church and he became an atheist and he died. But you're the one who led him to salvation. But he died an atheist after you did. Is he going to heaven? If he if he at one point believed on Jesus Christ, that he died for your sins, buried, rose again for John 3 16, he'll be in heaven. Why are you repeating what I just said? I just told you you led him to Christ. He believed all that, but now he's an atheist. And he died. Where's he and going? I, and I just answered your question. He'll be in heaven. See that guy? Say it again. I want people here while you're dangerous and you're a son of Satan. He'll be in He's going to be where? Heaven. John 3 16. Heaven. No, John 3 16 doesn't say what you're saying. <laughs> Who's believing believe him should not perish, but yeah, everlasting no, because life. Because it's believing, it's ongoing. Don't play the game. I know this. I used to be in okay. your Okay. How about how about Romans? Okay, don't Romans change the subject. Five. Calm down. Change subject. Okay, listen. I want people here while you're a son of Satan. Do you hear what he said? If this heretic preaches his false gospel to someone and he leads that person to his false gospel and he makes that profession, goes to church, he can then fall away, be an atheist and die and still go to heaven. I just want everyone to hear that. Well, he's saying. I'll tell you why you are a heretic because you don't know how to interpret John. Well, you're a heretic because that's go a common John example 15. anyway. Go to John 15. I know John 15. Yeah, but you don't know it because you're still preaching a false gospel. So if you know it, that means you're deliberately a Satan perverting scripture. Well, Romans 4, 5. But well, John not no, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Okay, read for me verses 1 to 8. 1 to 8? Yes. Oh, okay. If you're buying me. Yeah, okay. I know I know that passage. I don't care. You know, read it, man. You want me to read 1 to 8? Okay. Here. Hey, buddy, do yourself a favor. Get the hell out of here. Okay, there you go. 